Hey everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm back with Q in the garage. Uh, another garage gym workout with Quentin Steen. Today you're doing chest. Let's call it something different. Like how about the garage guy workout? Okay. Okay. That? This is the garage guy workout. Guys. Guys work. <laughs> Plural. Hopefully there's more than one and not wasting my time. It's true. Okay, hey, make sure you do your own warm-up. If you haven't done one and you want to follow along, click the card at the top of the screen. Join me with that one. Otherwise, Quentin's getting ready to go and we're moving daily. Okay, today we're gonna to do a chest workout. We're gonna about, probably haven't decided yet exactly, but uh, in terms of exercise, but it'll probably be something like a bench press, an incline bench press, and then a fly. Uh, so set yourself up. I'm using a dumb uh, a barbell right now, but you feel free to use dumbbells on any one of these ones. I'm gonna to move to dumbbells when I get into flies and incline bench. But for now, it's easier for me to use this. So if you don't have a if you don't have a bar. That's okay, you can use dumbbells, just it's the same exercise anyways. But here's the difference. We're gonna go and we're gonna superset between an exercise and push-ups. And I'm gonna start you off with uh, something you're gonna hate, probably. But it's really, really good to get that pump into the chest. So what we're gonna start off with is with 100 push-ups. Now, um, what's really, really important here is that you finish the 100 push-ups before we start into the other exercises. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an exercise and then do a few more push-ups, and we're gonna keep rotating like that. But to start off, we're gonna do 100 just to get that pump going. So, um, if you need to, if uh, however long it takes you, that's fine. You don't have to keep pace with me. Maybe you're faster, maybe you're slower, it doesn't really matter. It's just the, the idea is to get in the 100, okay? So, what we're gonna do is, if you find yourself getting tired, you can always modify it by going onto your knees and doing a push-up like that, or if you find it really, really simple, put your feet up on a bench. Um, this is uh, one of those exercises I call, ah, crap, why did I do this? Um, anyways, so let's start with 100 push-ups, and um, again, form is important, and you can have whatever stance you want, but I prefer just a little bit wider than the shoulders, and get as many as you can, take a small break, and then just keep going to get 100. Okay, here we go. You'll catch up with me later, or you'll probably head me, so. Okay, here we go. Woo! That should be exhausting, it is for me. All right, take a break, grab a water, and we'll get to the next exercise. All right, welcome back, Mr. Hundreds. Um, so here's the thing. Um, feel free to take as long as I said, as long as you want. 
that first exercise, 100 push-ups, is probably a good idea to give yourself at least three minutes of recovery time. Um, again, we're gonna do what, uh, our weights now with uh, between 12 and 15 reps. So if you have lighter weights, it, it, it all depends on what's good and feels comfortable for you, but by 15, you should be feeling it, or by 12, you should be feeling it. So whatever weight that is, for some people that could be like 75 pounds at 12 reps, or others it might be 30, who knows? It doesn't really matter the, the weight, what matters is the form. So, as in with all garage workouts, especially during this kind of crisis that we're having this pandemic, nothing's ever perfect. As you'll notice, I don't have a rack, so I have to modify it. So, that will either mean a clean and jerk, and then back on the bench for a bench press, or less preferred, and it's if when I'm more tired, is to roll it up my guts until, you know, of course, not squishing your private parts and the rest of that stuff, that's always a challenge. And if that happens to you, count that as at least five reps. All right, okay, so we're gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15. Once you finish that, drop the weight and we're gonna go into uh, a set of 40 push-ups, okay? And again, however long it takes to get those 40, I'm gonna give yourself, we're gonna pause the camera so you can get some recovery time. However long you need to do that, you can pause it yourself or whatever and we can go from there. Okay, let's do flat bench. Again, if you have a barbell, great. If you don't, use flat, uh, use your dumbbells. All right. Okay, really, really important. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Lock it out near the top. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, drop the weight. And the push ups. That's 15. You'll feel it. Believe me, you'll feel it. And you'll also hate it. If you're in the military, this might be called a hurrah exercise. two push-ups, but I tell you, it's not. All right, 40. Take a break, grab water. So, gonna get back to the bench. This time you're gonna love and hate me. We're gonna do push-ups again following this, like we're gonna do every exercise, except this time we're gonna go for 25 reps, okay? Instead of 40. Some of you might think that's wussy out, but yeah, you. We'll see how you feel after this. All right, here we go. I like sometimes to put my knees up too, keep my my back nice and flat. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, drop the weight. You're right, thank you. That will thank me. Okay, 25 reps.
That's 12, and it feels like I've done 100. There we go. Take a rest, however long you need, grab some water. This is the last set and then we'll do another set of 20 push-ups. I took it down by five because you should feel exhausted now. Uh, and it's like a finisher. And then we're gonna go to another exercise. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. All right. Oh, another little, th little tip too, uh, in the gym, um, especially when you're using like dumbbell or barbells, I use a grip that's, that I take the thumb and I put it over the bar as opposed to under. And the reason I do that is because my initial push is pushing on bone. I, as opposed to when I have my thumbs underneath the bar, that little cushion, that little pad, it's a little deceptive because in the initial push, it squishes down and then you start the weight. But with your, it's just as safe to put your, your thumb on the outside of the bar and go rest it on there and then that initial push is immediately the weight and instead of like waiting a half second and then the weight. So I find it much easier, much better and much more safer. Now I'll lock it over here when I'm just cleaning and pressing it and then I'll push it back, my thumbs back over the bar when I'm down. All right, here we go. See that, move that thumb over, and there we go, for 12. One more. You'll notice the bar somewhat moves. You'll see that deficit, just, as long as you can kind of control it, keep it within a certain range, you're good. All right, 20 pushes. That's 13. Take a break, grab some water. Okay, because once again, conceptually, I'm working on exhausting the muscle group and then fatiguing it. Exhausting it with the exercise, fatiguing it with the push-up. Let's get to the, uh, the incline press. And again, use whatever weights you're comfortable. We're gonna go 12 to 15 reps. Um, so, uh, again, you want to feel the fit, you want to feel the exhaustion of the muscle. What I'd like you to do is, when you're doing your chest exercises, your inclines, at the very, very top, I want you to squeeze for a half a second, and then let it back down. I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll do 15. I'll do 15. You can do 12. Whatever you do, 100 if you want. I don't care. But here we go. Ready? Uh, one. Squeeze. Two. Three, keep that back right against the chair. When you arch your back, you're, you can cheat a lot and it can hurt. Seven. Eight, squeeze. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, again, bring the weights down, slowly to your knees, put them on the floor. Nine. 
One, two. you want another exercise, sometimes I'll throw in just shrugs. So while you're waiting for it to reboot again, just do a set of shrugs, 12, 15 reps, whatever, so you can feel it. I'll show you shrugs when we do shoulder exercises uh, some other time. So when you're lifting uh, incline dumbbells, sometimes people find it easier to do both at once, kick it back both at once like that, other people like myself, I find it easier just to kick up one and then kick up the other one. And I always kick up my deficit side last. That way I can really drive my momentum. All right, here we go. 15 or 12. Squeeze up top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Squeeze. Squeeze, 10, okay, drop your weights, slowly, and into 12 or 20 reps, again, however long it takes you, just get 20. I always seem to stop on 13. I don't know if that's a curse or not. Also, doing pushes in the garage allows you to see all the little critters that are walking around that you're oblivious to when you're just normally walking through. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right, take a break. Okay, round three, here we go. 15 or 12, squeeze up top, and then followed by 20 push-ups. Just get 20. Up. This next exercise is going to be uh, flies, dumbbell flies. Uh, and I'm going to do it with an incline bench because I want to work the top end of my chest versus the bottom end of my chest or mid. Uh, but I will do a flat one in between. We'll do three sets. And then we're going to go to push-ups. And again, it's about getting 20. Now, the beautiful thing about watching this over YouTube on my wife's channel is that I'm not in the same room as you, so I can't tell if you're actually doing 20 push-ups or not. So if you're doing 20 push-ups, congratulations. If you're like, you know what, Quentin, screw your push-ups, I'll just wait for the exercise. Nah, good on you. But wouldn't it be cool if you could finish this end of this whole workout 
and know that you did every exercise, even if it took you a longer time than what you thought it would, put that in the back of your brain. So, we're gonna get the flies now. The important thing is, what I want you to do is, I want you to put your, your, um, your thumbs sort of like down a bit, like facing the wall when you bring it down. Not too far, just a bit up, but like a 45 degree angle. And then don't go too far down, because if you go too far down, and they always call us get a good stretch. But the reality is that if you go too far, you're using back to, and you're using shoulders to engage uh, prior to your pecs. You want your pecs engaged fully. So don't bring it down, bring it level, but don't bring it below the shoulders, okay? Because then it's just shoulders and back. So we're gonna put it like this, 45 degree angle, and then we're gonna bring up the weights, and as we bring up the weights, we're gonna pull in the, the, your palms until they touch, and that's where you're gonna get your squeeze. So it's down, and squeeze up, okay? Here we go. 12 to 15. Up, up, okay? There we go. Up. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> five, four, five. Hopefully that wasn't caught on the line. Oh, six. Ten. There you go. Eleven. Nice. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And see this one I mean you go too far down? I'm using all shoulders now to pull it back up. You don't want to do that. Fifteen. Okay, now drop your weights and get twenty push-ups. However long it takes you. This is gonna take me a while. There we go. Take a deep breath. Here we go. One more. Woo! <laughs> I'm feeling it. I hope you're feeling it. Okay, yeah, here we go. Thirteen. It's my barrier right there. If you're doing it on the flat bench, it's really, really important to make sure you don't let it dro drop below your, your shoulders. Yeah. 
just gonna fall. My fear is that he's gonna have to do and then he's not gonna want to get out. Ooh, done. <sighs> all right. All right, well that looked brutal. I might have to try it later. I don't know if I can get all those push-ups in. That looked really tough. Hey, thanks for joining. Please stretch on your own, stretch that chest out, and join us back for our next workout. If you want to work out from me, click or tap the screen right here, or right here, or more like it. All right, see you guys. Oh, and remember, pork grind is not a food group. That's, that's true. That's very true. <laughs>